Hey guys, welcome to another video and it's a very very exciting one because today we're going to install Android 12 on the K20 Pro. Now before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, well yes, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you can find a link to our Telegram community where we are growing and having a lot of fun. You can join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Android 12 Beta 1 when it came out from Google I tried it didn't work for the K20 Pro and luckily today I got to see it that it's working on the K20 Pro using the Beta 1 port for Pixel 5 so remember this video is going to have a lot of disclaimers this ROM that you see flashed over here is not a daily driver it has a ton of bugs because of course Android 12 itself is in beta right now so then it has been ported so it will have even more bugs right but for now big thanks and big credit goes to Munchi because I was able to you know pick up a list from his channel as to what is working and what is not working according to him Volti might be broken for Geo works for BSNL we have an Airtel sim in there so we will see that FOD doesn't work encryption doesn't work permissive build safety net fail you have to manually enable the monet ui and hey google hot keyword is a broken passwords and account option crashes and back tap gesture is not working what really works is calling wi-fi ui smooth youtube playback sound play store app install google feed google assistant 2.0 when invoked manually make sure you connect to internet first time for it to download additional stuff lock screen and weather and time one handed more and gestures you can check out his channel he makes amazing videos but this is where i picked it up from and in today's video we're going to do a install and preview we will do a full review later if i think it is worth it but for now what all do you need it is recommended that you be on an aosp rom because if you're an miui the stock recovery might be overwritten and stuff but you know doesn't matter to me I have the files in there there are three files that are needed we're going to flash them one by one and we will see how the experience is now remember you have to make sure that your phone is backed up you have more than 50 percent battery you do need a k20 pro with an unlocked bootloader and orange fox recovery installed or you can use the latest twrp i'll link the recovery that i've used in the description and you will lose all the data on your phone's internal storage so this is more of an experiment so what we're going to do is we're going to reboot to orange fox recovery here all right so as you can see we are in orange fox so we will go to wipe dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage so wipe everything okay now we will go ahead and flash so select the usb otg or you can connect your phone to the computer i have formatted the internal storage to have a clean flash it's okay if you don't but we will be formatting data anyways so you will lose everything on the internal storage so this is android 12 so this is the file that we will flash first and then we will flash the disable force encrypt and then the permissiver okay one by one all three will be flashed so this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes so please be patient while that happens now as you can see it says flashing vendor partition it has its own vendor now let's wait for the flash to complete and then we will see how the experience is all right now as you can see everything has been flashed the log is there so we will go ahead and go to wipe format data type in yes okay now we will do reboot system now the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes that is what i always say you will get a blacked out google boot animation which is android s or android 12 there you go so let's wait for it to boot up and let's see how the experience is all right so what do we have here the first look of android 12 or android s you have there's an internal problem error so we're going to quickly go ahead and first reduce the brightness so that we can see better and we can see a little more clearly right i think that looks better now as i, as I said you know monet ui is not working so tap on this that will restart the complete ui okay there you go you do have the beautiful monet ui okay now we like i don't have a data plan on this particular sim card so let's go ahead and see if i can make calls or you know use data or not so let's go here 
Oh, that lag is insane. So for me, calling is not working. Oh, I was about to give up. You can share your questions with us on Edo Right, so it's the calling is working. You don't see a call recorder over here. Okay, so if you go to settings, as you can see over here, works beautifully. It's still laggy, what do you expect? But if you have a look, the UI looks great. They've made a lot of changes over here. Okay, you have the clear all button. There's sort of a live wallpaper, Google feed to the left. I'm pretty sure they don't have a camera application. You do have migrate built in. You have contacts and all the basic things. So if you go to settings, see if you go to about phone, pixel five, everything else unknown. Right. This is the build number. Okay. Android version S. There you go. Oh, we still have the Android 11 uh, version here, right? But as you can see, you know, the whole UI is pretty, pretty smooth, pretty, pretty solid. I was thinking of, you know, maybe installing PUBG and trying it, if it'll work or not, or how good or bad the experience could be. You do have battery and a lot of other things. But looking at the UI, it doesn't really, you know, feel like confident enough to go ahead and give this a shot. But there you go, you know, I'm not, I'm going to make a complete review out of it. If I think it is worth, I'm going to play around with it for an hour or so and see if I can make a review for you guys. Let me know what do you think about this install video. And if you want to see a quick preview of what Android 12 looks like on this channel, let me know in the comment section. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.